I was born in the USA, originated in Asia, a half cup of Pakistan, a half cup of Afghanistan, a dash of India. I was born in Saudi Arabia, a land that wanted me to love everyone and everything, but yet with lots of love restriction. Society kept me not sure about how I feel. I actually might like it. I might not like it. Who knows? Growing up in LA taught me that my uncertainty is my own responsibility. I was born in the Philippines, molded by a mixture of indigenous and religious traditions. I am a woman not defined by my religion, but a believer, an element vital to truly experience Islam in its truest essence, as my faith and as my way of life. Growing up in Pakistan, I fell in love with Bruce born in the USA. I was not born in the USA, but my children were. They are of the American fabric, the red, white, and blue. They are the stars of my Star Spangled Banner. They ask me, what color are we? Because by color, we are recognized. I say, you are of all the colors of the flag. Lilac, because lilac is the color of calm, tranquility, and peace. I was born in Canada's east. Opportunities for work drew my father westward to the prairies, the Rockies, the Silicon Valley, and the Pacific. North American bred, I found my voice and vocation by catapulting eastward to Cairo. I wrote and reported my way through Egypt, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, the rest of the Arabian Gulf and the Levant, realized in all the wandering that I was homeless. Until I discovered that he was always one step ahead, lighting my path, the straight path to peace that belongs to no city, country, or creed. Walking along that trail, the world as a whole is my temporary home. An African, yet Arabic speaking, and welcomed by neither. To Africa, I am oppressor. To Arabia, I am inferior. America is where I can be me. I was a refugee, an almost desert rose, escaping unscathed to San Diego beaches. Today, I'm a mystic woman. Healy loves missteps. I don't need to say, I love you, America. I am you, America. I'll be 30 this year, and I feel like I'm seeing myself, my religion, and my God for the first time. The possibilities seem endless as I reacquaint myself with all that is new, yet somehow so familiar. I was born in a Zionist and Islamophobic culture. I thought Israel was my birthright. I went to Israel and lived in Palestine and returned a Muslim. I was born in Iran, a country claimed Islamic rule. I don't see God. I moved to the U.S. I don't feel it better. I explore nature. I feel close to God. I am born Chinese Japanese in Indonesia with the love of fashion, music, and Harvard Business Review. I know myself better, and I know that I've been through prejudice and racism for my whole life. The best wound is become much stronger than I am now. And I know, with the love of my Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the love of peace, I will turn my dreams into reality. Born in the USA, made in Bangladesh, moved 31 times by age 28. My nomadic existence makes me from nowhere. I am from everywhere.
everywhere. Home for me is undefined, but it lies in the hearts of the people I love and the memories I hold dear. In coming together with all the Muslimas, the beautiful ladies here, I am trying to seek myself. Lost somewhere between the country of my parents and here, their stories like fallen stars over the night sky. I seek myself, and I will find myself. I was born in Iraq. I was born in Saudi Arabia. I was born in Saudi Arabia. I was born in Pakistan. I was born in Iran. I was born in the Philippines. I was born in the USA. I was born in Indonesia. I was born in the USA. I was born in the USA. I was born in Eritrea. I was born in Canada. I was born everywhere. I was born outside of time. I was born.